Hey guys, this is Auspicious Aussie, and welcome back to another episode of my new Schalke series. As you guys know, uh, Schalke are in the German Bundesliga, like I've said in previous episodes, and um, things are going fairly decent at the moment. As you can see, we are sitting uh, still in sixth place against um, Bayern Munich, of course, are the people we want to catch in this series, as they are the most dominant team in the German Bundesliga. They are four points ahead of us, which isn't too big of an ask. Um, a bit more consistent form, and we could easily be um, at the top if um, if not maybe a few points clear of Bayern. They haven't been all that impressive themselves. Uh, but let's get into the most recent fixtures um, before I have a little talk about um, an outgoing transfer. As you can see, the last Livecom game you guys saw was against Malaga. Um, exactly one month ago, we did win 4-1 in the Champions League group stage game. We then went away from home, followed it up with a, a nil-nil drub match against Werder Bremen. Um, nothing much to discuss. Sean Matip and Haudes, of course, bossed our central uh, defence, of course, with Jermaine Jones sitting in front of them. We then returned home against Wolfsburg, a tough game. Um, to get a draw, I wasn't upset. But it was another nil-nil drub match. I mean, it's another clean sheet, I suppose. But um, to be competing for the title, we do need to win these types of games. Um, then we went away to Old Trafford, and of course, first other none other than um, one of the best clubs in the world in Manchester United. Many of you will definitely know this team. Um, as you can see, my players played really poor, really, really poor. Um, as you can see. Um, they started the scoring off early and um, scored four in the first half. It was 4-1 through Clash and Huntler. He did score a goal for us. But as you can see, five different goal scorers for United. They are one of the best teams in the world, without a doubt. Holtby got a disappointing 4.8, and it's not often you see a player get under a five-match rating. So I was really, really, really um, disappointed, to say the least, with this game. I mean... Three goals conceded I could have taken, but five, it does seem a bit steep, um, even if it is coming against Manchester United at Old Trafford. We then um, continued our away travels, but back in Germany this time in the Bundesliga. Uh, we did versus Hoffenheim, who we did beat quite comfortably 2-0. I mean, decent result. These are the results we should be getting um, consistently. As you can see, Nudstarter did get man of the match, and our goals came through uh, Trinculo Bonetta, um, in the 60th minute, followed up by a late, late goal through Klaus and Huntelaar in the 89th. The final game I played um, of last month was, of course, the German second round, uh, German Cup second round match against St. Pauli. As you can see, we did win 4-2 in extra time, um, and it was one one all um, at full time, and they actually got the lead, which was quite um, quite scary to be honest. I did, for a minute, um, think we were actually going out of the cup early. But as you can see, we came back. Um, Abbasi got a brace. Matip and Haudes both got goals off corners in the end. Abbasi, of course, with his brace, did pick up the Man of the Match award. Of course, like I said, that does leave us in sixth place in the Bundesliga. Um, just a measly three points behind second in our main rivals, Dortmund. Um, and as far as our transfers go, I have decided to sell Christoph Metzelda. Um, he's 31 years old. His contract ran out at the end of the season, I thought. I'll try and cash in on him now. Um, he was starting to get a little bit upset for not getting any playing time. But um, he will be leaving us in January um, for 500000 Not all of it up front, uh, front but that's, that's, not, that's really a non-issue. So I just wanted to get him out of the club instead of him going for free um, at the end of the season. Alright, well let's get to uh, today's game then. Against none other than 7th placed Nuremberg. As you can see, they're only one point behind us, so it is a fairly important game. We are at home, so... Whatever that means, I guess. Jermaine Jones will come back into the squad. Ooh. Yeah. 
going to have a lot of unfit players today. But, 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 we should be all right. I'm going to bring Fuchs back. Draxler in. Papadopoulos has picked up an injury. Not long term. Yeah, it's only, only four days. But um, he will be missed. Although, saying that, Matip has um, performed very ad admirably. Admirably? Yeah. Um, when he's been in the squad. He's actually kicked um, Papadopoulos out of the squad um, at the moment. So that's you know, a bit interesting. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it then. Of course, the next fixture after this one is uh, me United at home, so that should be another interesting game. Um, might change to a defensive tactic or something for that one, I think. Although, then again, I don't really know. Maybe counter-attack. Something of the sort, I guess. Mm, got a lot of tired players out there. These three, especially Holtby's, already fi finished like a game and end game fatigue. He's on 67, so that's not good. Howders as well. He's pretty low. Even Hondola, we're only just at half time. We didn't have one highlight in that whole first half. Not one highlight. Sorry guys, I do apologise for that. Um. And of course, this is the pointless highlight. There we go. Lasted a long seven seconds. Mm, Draxler's not playing very well. Um, um, let me see. Might bring him on for Holtby. Yeah. And then put Jones like that, and then like that, yeah, and then I'll put Barnetta on for Draxler, and we'll see what this does. I mean, the centre of my midfield is now extremely defensive, um, despite playing an advanced playmaker and a deep line playmaker, and of course the defensive midfielder. Oh, finally! This is the first highlight of the whole game. It comes in the 82nd minute. Barnetta shoots. Oh, off the crossbar! Off the crossbar. We almost scored from the first highlight of the game. Well, guys, I do apologise. Barnetta! Oh! Another one! That's two off the crossbar in 10 minutes. From from two highlights in the whole game. It does look like it's going to be another one of those nil all drub matches. So I do apologise for that, guys. But I mean, there's nothing I can really do. I mean, a draw is not a bad result. Uh, kind of is. Um, we are still in sixth. Yeah, and we will stay in in so blah, 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 in sixth, but. As you can see, we completely dominated the crap out of them in that game. 25 shots to 6. But um, I'll have a look at the uh, fixtures, upcoming fixtures, and of course, um, when the next episode will be, and who it will be against. Um, we did pick up a, <clears throat> a third division club in the uh, third round of the cup, so that's a bonus. But the next fixtures will be Man United... Uh, Borussia Dortmund away, that's a massive game right there. Dusseldorf, uh, FC Basel um, in the Champions League group stage. Ooh, that's a tasty game. Bayern Munich away. Ooh, we've got a lot of tough games this month. United, Dortmund, Bayern. And then Hanover to round off the month at home. And of course, hope you guys will join me back for the next Livecom, the next episode against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Um, yeah, guys, if you've liked the video, uh, give it a like rating. Uh, 
if you want, guys want to leave a comment, feel free to. Um, tell me how your your saves are going. Tell me if you've ever uh, managed in in Germany before. I, I will be interested to to uh, read some of those comments. Um, if you if you think I should be doing a bit better with Schalke, um, also leave a comment saying saying that I'm 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 doing poorly with him. I guess. Um, yeah. Apart from that, guys, I've been a special Aussie, and I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. I know I actually have. Bye, guys.